Hunting, I'm on the lookout for something. I'm lonesome, but I feel alive. God's love is filling up my time. Breathing, I keep my words on the ceiling. I'm aiming with a plastic gun. A little cold, but a lot of fun. Hey, welcome to Verona Beach, cuz. It's me, Jesse. It's been a long 10 years, huh? Your mom said you'd grown up, but I had no idea. You're so much taller. Oh, you don't remember me? I was thinner and younger then. Miserable too. Anyway, I'm your cousin. Last time we met, uh, let's see. I was in college and you were like in the fifth grade or something. Back before California. Doesn't matter, come on. I'll show you your room for the summer. Nah. Uh-huh.
See ya. You must be Jesse's friend. Hi, I'm Isaac. Indeed, though I don't require the sword, Appellet. At least I'd hope you don't call me the man when I'm in my human form. But I'm indeed in a stock at times. Forgive me for remaining in this form for now. It takes some effort to change shape, and I'd rather focus on the lesson at hand. Your hand on my hilt is as good a handshake as any, after all. Now, if you take a look around, you'll see we're in a mall. A dunge is a place you can confront your insecurities. Here, your own psychology will create monsters to fight. I chose the mall because most people have fears that easily manifest here. It depends on the person. Strangers, inadequacy, sterility, poverty. Everyone's afraid of something. Let's go ahead and look around. Let's see if we can find any monsters to fight. Right.
Whoa. Well, hello, you two. Name's Sunder. Isaac Brooks. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Unusual to be here without a wielder, no? Yeah. To be honest, I'm not really sure how I got here. Last thing I remember is someone in a cloak, chanting. Hmm. And now I'm all dinged up. I must have made someone really angry if they abducted me and chipped me, whoever they are. But my luck is turning around because here you are. I didn't think anyone like you would be in the dunge. Oh, if you're into it, maybe we can go on a date later. Would that be okay? I'm both. Don't tell me you're obsessed with Bonnie binaries. Turns out there's very few mutual exclusivities out there in the world. If we fight together, I'll protect you. All in, no matter the shape of this body. Maybe together we can figure out how I got down here. I mean, who would leave me here and not keep me in their embrace forever, right? Plenty of people are jealous of this physique, so could be anyone, really. Now I'll just cut my way out of here while you two finish up your run. Here's, I'll text you. Hmm. He was knocked out, damaged, and imprisoned here? Weapon forms heal quickly, as they are made from our spirits more than our bodies. Still, this is serious. I'll report our findings to the authorities. I hope the abductor can be caught. Let's keep our eye out for any other victims as we explore the dunge. And that concludes our first lesson. Would you mind releasing me? Not a problem at all. Truly, enchanté. It was a pleasure to train with you. Thank you. But I must get back to work. If I may say, your fencing style is rough, but has unusual potential. If you're interested in refining your form, come by my office. I have the gear necessary for lessons. We still have no leads on finding the source of your insecurities that form these monsters. So feel free to call upon me in the future when you need a dungeon delving partner. Until next time then. Hey, cuz. I heard you, uh, picked up Isaac. And he says you're a natural. He's one of the best dudes I know for sure. Thinks a lot about how to improve the world. Anyway, I'm glad it worked out.
See ya. Welcome to Kits. Sure thing. One coffee coming right up. Welcome back to Kicks. Hmm. Hey, you're Jesse's cousin, right? I'm Eric. Now tell me everything you know about swords. Do you prefer one or two-handed? I sometimes like the speed of one-handed weapons, but it's a rush to use the heft of two hands. Jesse said you're a dungeon crawling type, so I thought I'd offer my help finding a weapon.
Well, hello.
You came. Hi. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks. We just restocked our spadroon supply. Let me give you a tour.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Do you think they sell moisturizer here? What the hell? Could you not just, like, grab me without warning? I know tradition is all choose your weapon, but consent is important. No, oh, it's okay. I'm sorry, too. I didn't mean to snap, I just... I'm not sure what's going on. I was out at night, as you do, and then... BAM! I'm here, my blade hurts, monsters everywhere. I'm Valeria, 
Nice to meet you. Sort of. I guess so. And damaged, too. Normally, I'd switch to human form around now, to be polite. But I don't know you. I'm still recovering from whatever just happened. I'd rather play it safe. And I'm certainly not going to put myself in a stranger's hands and let you use me. Ugh, I can take care of myself. Mostly. I could use some extra cash, though, so... I'll keep in touch. Ciao, for now.
Ah. Hmm?
Hunting, I'm on the lookout for something. I'm lonesome, but I feel alive. God, love is filling up my time.